Okay. I'm writing a paper on snakeheads in environmental biology. Um, the first thing I do is go to like Google Chrome and pull up a search engine on Google. Um, I like to do that just because when you go to like the internet, there's like a wide variety of things you can choose from of like web pages. Alright, so I'm going to Google. I'm just going to type in snakeheads. Um, I'm not going to use Wikipedia. I've been told to be stay away from that because um, the information isn't always credible. Okay, so I'm going to go to this aquatic species, northern snakehead. I chose it because it looks legit and it has the scientific name and it seems to have what I'm looking for. Well, I don't really like this, so I'm actually going to go back. I'm not really seeing what I want, so I'm going to try to... Oh, actually, Smithsonian. taking a lot to load here. <laughs> here it goes. Alright. So this has a lot of information of what I'm looking for. So I usually just um, like favorite the bookmark the web page and so I can come back to it at a later date. That's usually what I just do. Just start should I start it or no? Okay. So start it and then done. Ta da! And just to like further research, I'll put in something else like, um, snake heads. Why are snake hands snake heads are invasive species, so I'm trying to figure out like why they're a bad thing, why we don't want them here. <laughs> I basically just chose this link because it was like the second one to pop up. <laughs> I already chose the first one, so. Alright, so I'm going to favorite this one. I like to favor because it's just easy, easier than copying and pasting. It's just one little quick click, and then all the web pages are there. Um, next, after I like to, after I get the information I want, I like to try to find different things to put in where I can get more information about it. Just like different things, maybe like pictures and stuff, or videos. If I was on my personal computer, I would get on my Google Drive and save like the pictures I want to my drive. But since I'm not on my actual thing, I'm not going to do that. Then I would just pick cool pictures like the half eaten tilapia. <laughs> Alright, 
Do these things are vicious. <laughs> Alright, now, after I would get all my pictures, um, see if there's like different types of snake heads. Just widen my understanding. Alright, that's not really pulling up what I need, so I need to rephrase the question. It's not actual snakes, snake heads, the fish. Okay. Click on this quick guide to snake heads. See if it's got like. I chose this because it says it's a quick guide. I would like to learn as much as I can in one little quick place. Alright, and it's telling me the different types. Um, and 34 species. So this seems to... Tells me they're air breathing. They can survive for at least 72 hours. This is all nice information. So like I said, I'll just start. And each um, web page I save is like um, a different point in the paper I need to make, like the different topics I need to discuss. And then when I come back, I can just tie it all together. Alright. Now, I'm going to change my search terms to... What does snake heads eat? clicking on the northern snakehead facts because what I'm looking for is like facts about them seems like I could find it here This has what I'm looking for, so star. I like to star things. <laughs> Ooh, um, I found a link that said what eats snakeheads. That's a good question. So I'm clicking on that because I don't actually know, and I would like to. Mm. Nothing eats snake heads. <laughs> That's why they're so problematic. <sighs> people, people can eat snake heads. <clears throat> and after I got like all the information I needed, um, usually like I like to um, pull up like a word document and write down key points that I want to make sure I get out of each web page because I don't want to forget that and you, I star so much stuff I don't want it to get lost in all the stars, all the bookmarks Okay. 
so now I'm going to maybe I should yeah I'll find out um maybe where snake heads originate from because they're not from the United States This um it's on a link I already clicked. <laughs> so this is when I would um write down in the um document on Google Drive. Just write down that they're from <clears throat> try to stay away from Yahoo Answers <laughs> stuff like that and Wikipedia alright mm -hmm. If I um wanted a video, I usually would just I'm just gonna change it to snake heads. Yeah. And then I would just copy the URL onto the document or a PowerPoint. I could later go back to it. You can't really favorite the videos to um keep those. And they can crawl, so that's pretty scary. So yeah, then I just copy the URL to the document. Unless there's a, well there's a share button. But that's like social media, so I'll just get this and copy and paste. Maybe put it on the PowerPoint if I was presenting, so they could watch it. Okay, now I'm going to change my search terms to something more simplistic. Um, young snake heads. We'll click on Animal Planet. Probably a lot of information about them on there. I like this. It puts it in more simplistic terms.
I'm writing a paper on snakeheads in environmental biology. Um, the first thing I do is go to like Google Chrome and pull up a search engine on Google. Um, I like to do that just because when you go to like the internet, there's like a wide variety of things you can choose from of like web pages. Alright, so I'm going to Google. I'm just going to type in snakeheads. Um, I'm not going to use Wikipedia. I've been told to be stay away from that because um, the information isn't always credible. Okay, so I'm going to go to this aquatic species, northern snakehead. I chose it because it looks legit and it has the scientific name and it seems to have what I'm looking for well I don't really like this so I'm actually going to go back mm. I'm not really seeing what I want so I'm going to try to oh actually Smithsonian It's taking a lot to load here. <laughs> here it goes. All right. So this has a lot of information of what I'm looking for. So I usually just um, like favorite the bookmark the web page, and so I can come back to it at a later date. That's usually what I just do. Just start. Should I start it or no? Okay. So start it and then done. Ta da! And just to like further research, I'll put in something else like, um, Snake heads. Why are snake heads snake heads are invasive species? So, I'm trying to figure out like why they're a bad thing, why we don't want them here. <laughs> I basically just chose this link because it was like the second one to pop up. <laughs> I already chose the first one, so. Alright, so I'm going to favorite this one. I like to favor because it's just easy, easier than copying and pasting. It's just one little quick click, and then all the web pages are there. Um, next, after I like to, after I get the information I want, I like to try to find different things to put in where I can get more information about it. Just like different things, maybe like pictures and stuff, or videos. If I was on my personal computer, I would get on my Google Drive and save like the pictures I want to my drive. But since I'm not on my actual thing, I'm not going to do that. Then I would just pick cool pictures like the half eaten tilapia. <laughs> These things are vicious. <laughs> 
All right, now, after I would get all my pictures, um, see if there's like different types of snake heads. Just widen my understanding. Alright, that's not really pulling up what I need, so I need to rephrase the question. It's not actual snakes, snake heads, the fish. Okay. Click on this quick guide to snake heads. See if it's got like. I chose this because it says it's a quick guide. I would like to learn as much as I can in one little quick place. Alright, and it's telling me the different types. Um, and 34 species. So this seems to... Tells me they're air breathing. They can survive for at least 72 hours. This is all nice information. So like I said, I'll just start. And each um, web page I save is like um, a different point in the paper I need to make, like the different topics I need to discuss. And then when I come back, I can just tie it all together. Alright. Now, I'm going to change my search terms to... What does snake heads eat? I'm clicking on the northern snake head facts because what I'm looking for is like facts about them. Seems like I could find it here. This has what I'm looking for, so star. I like to star things. <laughs> Ooh, um, I found a link that said what eats snake heads. That's a good question. So I'm clicking on that because I don't actually know, and I would like to. Mm. Nothing eats snake heads. <laughs> That's why they're so problematic. <sighs> people, people can eat snake heads. <clears throat> and after I got like all the information I needed, um, usually like I like to um, pull up like a word document and write down key points that I want to make sure I get out of each web page because I don't want to forget that and you, I star so much stuff I don't want it to get lost in all the stars all the bookmarks So, 
now I'm going to maybe I should yeah I'll find out um maybe where snake heads originate from because they're not from the United States this um saw my link already clicked <laughs> so this is when I would um write down in the um document on Google Drive. Just write down that they're from <clears throat> try to stay away from Yahoo Answers <laughs> stuff like that and Wikipedia If I um, wanted a video, I usually would just, I'm just going to change it to snake heads, view, and then I would just copy the URL into the document or a PowerPoint or I could later go back to it. You can't really favorite the videos to um, keep those. And they can crawl, so that's pretty scary. So yeah, now I just copy the URL into the document. Unless there's a, well there's a share button. But that's like social media, so I'll just get this and copy and paste. Maybe put it on the PowerPoint if I was presenting, so they could watch it. Okay, now I'm going to change my search terms to something more simplistic. Um, young snake heads. We'll click on Animal Planet. Probably a lot of information about them on there. I like this. It puts it in more simplistic terms.
okay I am writing a paper on the Columbine High School Columbine High School shooting for composition 2 and I'm just going to go to Google Chrome because it's a safe uh, internet database to look up information on Google is a primary search engine I use so I'm going to go there now um, what I initially do is for anything is look up the basics of the topic I am searching because usually when you're writing the paper you have to assume that your audience is unfamiliar with the topic so nine times out of ten within the first links that come up Wikipedia would be there so they can tend to not be so reliable sometimes sometimes they can you have to look at the sources that are on there but I usually scroll past those so I don't get any false information and now I'm stuck between a history site and news channel sites news channel sites are always pretty accurate they have a reporter that was probably on the scene or has some first hand information from the actual event so they're always good to go to so I always like to look at those so here I have the two primary suspects in the shooting so that's good and basic facts um, the pair made home videos prior to the attack making references to going to do and apologizing their parents Harrison Club all killed themselves with gunshot wounds to the head in the school's library so we just have some cool facts we have a setting Littleton, Colorado, April 20th, 1999. So this site was actually updated this year, May 6th, 2015. So other people have access to it. And we're just scrolling down to the bottom to see if any references or anything are on here. We don't have an editor's name, but the information on here still could be pretty accurate. So, um, let's go back because we have we have a little bit of information but it's good to look at another site just to see if it adds up because if we find a difference within the two maybe one could not be so truthful and now I'm at another news site again updated this year Sunday April, April 19th 2015 around 12 p.m. Two teenagers wearing ski masks, members of a misfit clique dubbed the Trench Coat Mafia, marched into their suburban high school. Uh, as many as 25 people, students, and possibly teachers were feared dead. Um, let's see if we can find the part where they shot themselves in the library. That would be something that would add up.
okay we don't have the part about the library but it says two gunmen open fire inside Columbine High School in Colorado killing 13 before committing suicide so that's always good but right here we have quotations from actual students so automatically like this is something I would probably use for most of my information on my paper because I have first hand accounts they they were having the best time of their lives said Aaron Kahn a 17 year old junior they were laughing hooting and hollering so this is pretty good detail about what was going on and we haven't really read about a motive so that would be something I want to look for and from the sound of that it could have been a mental disorder maybe because it seems like they were enjoying killing so that would be something I try to look for Right now, I'm opening a Word document. Just to, I just want to copy and paste my link to my Word document, and then take notes from that page, just so. I can go back and then when I'm actually preparing to write my paper I know where I got the information from so I never sit and write the exact words but I just give some basic details misspelling Columbine on April I just said 20th okay as a matter of fact I would just want to use maybe bullet points or something Just getting a few like basic points so I have the most well known information for my paper so I can build some background information at the beginning that's what I always look for at the beginning of my paper background information or background information then like the basics of what was going on then we can move into detail I also want to put the setting somewhere in there. not really big on typing so that's why I use well that's why I use like just a few bullet points and I save the link because I just started start writing when I come back and I just look at back to the source and I write I don't really 
care about typing that much. Um, so now it's easy for me to come back to the but now I'm going back to Google and when I'm doing my research I just hate closing tabs because if I'm writing my paper on the same day I'm doing my research it's going to be too much to pull it back up and I try to do as little work on me as possible so I just open another tab and just keep that one up so now the main thing I want to look for is a motive behind what their reason for actually going there and killing their peers and a teacher supposedly and that's like something that I'm interested in so usually when I'm interested in something I go look for that first because that'll be a strong point for me to write about if I'm writing about my interests I'll be more engaged in the paper so first I'm just gonna look up the two suspects names and doing this since they were invo involved in like this mass murder case obviously the event is going to come up with their names but I want to see like other information too about like any other like violent manners or behaviors they had done prior to the event or like things that were noticeable about them that could have like been like a sign that they could have even been involved in something like this because usually when something this bad happens you know like it's some like previous things that led up to it that just using like common sense that's something that should pop up in your head like not anybody's gonna like go kill 13 people but so a motive would be something I'm, like very interested in like it always gets me like hyped to do some research just by reading the links I see mass murder the Columbine high school stuff like that but I'm just gonna add some more keywords in just to get like to what I wanna actually see and to me it's like the more words you add in your search bar like the more specific it's gonna get so when I'm like seeing like too much of like broad topics in my links I just keep adding like what I want to see until like it gives me something here's something criminal minds that's something just draws my attention because I watch Criminal Mind and hopefully it gives me a breakdown to a motive okay, so Ferris was born in Kansas father won a US Air Force pilot plus has family to move Okay, so this is something good. It says Typher then didn't allow Harris to go out with her again, stayed in fake suicide. So that's something good that I would include in my paper. Okay. 
I am writing a paper on the Column High School Columbine High School shooting for a composition too. And I'm just gonna go to Google Chrome because it's a safe uh internet database to look up information on. Google is a primary search engine I use, so I'm going to go there. Now, um, what I initially do is, for anything, is look up the basics of the topic I am searching. Because usually when you're writing a paper you have to assume that your audience is unfamiliar with the topic. So nine times out of ten within the first links that come up Wikipedia would be there. So they can tend to not be so reliable sometimes. Sometimes they can. You have to look at the sources that are on there. I usually scroll past those so I don't get any false information and now I'm stuck between a history site and news channel sites news channel sites are always pretty accurate they have a reporter that was probably on the scene or has some first hand information from the actual event so they're always good to go to so I always like to look at those now, so here I have the two primary suspects in the shooting so that's good and basic facts the pair made at home videos prior to the attack making references to going to do and apologizing their parents. Harrison Club Bowl killed themselves with gunshot wounds to the head in the school's library. So we just have some cool facts. We have a setting, Littleton, Colorado, April 20th, 1999. So this site was actually updated this year May 6 2015 so other people have access to it and just scrolling down to the bottom see if any references or anything are on here we don't have an editor's name but the information on here still could be pretty accurate so, um, let's go back because we have we have a little bit of information, but it's good to look at another site just to see if it adds up. Because if we find a difference within the two, maybe one could not be so truthful and now I'm at another news site again updated this year Sunday April April 19 2015 around 12 p.m. two teenagers wearing ski masks members of a misfit clique dubbed the trench coat mafia marched into their suburban high school uh, as many as 25 people, students, and possibly teachers were feared dead. Um, let's see if we can find the part where they shot themselves in the library. That would be something that would add up. Okay, we 
don't have the part about the library, but it says two gunmen opened fire inside Columbine High School in Colorado, killing 13 before committing suicide. So that's always good. But right here we have quotations from actual students. So automatically, like this is something I would probably use for most of my information on my paper because I have first hand accounts. They they were having the best time of their lives, said Aaron Khan, a seventeen year old junior. They were laughing, hooting and hollering. So this is pretty good detail about what was going on. And we haven't really read about a motive so that would be something I want to look for and from the sound of that it could have been a mental disorder maybe because it seems like they were enjoying killing so that would be something I try to look for Right now, I'm opening a Word document. Just see. I just want to copy and paste my link to my Word document. And then take notes from that page just so. I can go back and then when I'm actually preparing to write my paper I know where I got the information from so I never sit and write the exact words but I just get some basic details misspelling Columbine on April I just said 20th okay as a matter of fact I would just want to use maybe bullet points or something getting a few like basic points so I have the most well known information for my paper so I can build some background information at the beginning that's what I always look for at the beginning of my paper background information or background information then like the basics of what was going on then we can move into detail So I also want to put the setting somewhere in there. not really big on typing so that's why I use well that's why I use like just a few bullet points and I saved the link because I just started start writing when I come back and I just look at back to the source and I write I don't really 
care about typing that much. Um, so now it's easy for me to come back to that. But now I'm going back to Google and when I'm doing my research I just hate closing tabs because if I'm writing my paper on the same day I'm doing my research it's going to be too much to pull it back up and I try to do as little work on me as possible so I just open another tab and just keep that one up so now the main thing I want to look for is a motive behind what their reason for actually going there and killing their peers and a teacher supposedly and that's like something that I'm interested in so usually when I'm interested in something I go look for that first cause that'll be a strong point for me to write about if I'm writing about my interests I'll be more engaged in the paper so first I'm just gonna look up the two suspects names and doing this since they were invo involved in like this mass murder case obviously the event is going to come up with their names but I want to see like other information too about like any other like violent manners or behaviors they had done prior to the event or like things that were noticeable about them that could have like been like a sign that they could have even been involved in something like this because usually when something this bad happens you know like it's some like previous things that led up to it that just using like common sense that something that should pop up in your head like not anybody's gonna like go kill 13 people but so a motive would be something like very interested in like that always gets me like hyped to do some research just by reading the links I see mass murder Columbine High School stuff like that but I'm just going to add some more keywords in just to get like to what I want to actually see and to me it's like the more words you add in your search bar like the more specific it's going to get so when I'm like seeing like too much of like broad topics in my links I just keep adding like what I want to see until like it gives me something here's something criminal minds that's something just draws my attention because I watch criminal mind and hopefully it gives me a breakdown to a motive okay, so yes he's born in Kansas father in the US Air Force pilot plus has family to New York set his own bank Okay, so this is something good. It says Typher then didn't allow Harris to go out with her again, staging fake suicide. So that's something good that I would include in my paper. Let me 
writing a paper on the Gulf War and the Iraqi War for class 1102 for uh, freshman students. I usually go to Wikipedia to get just a brief idea of what the information is. I never use it in my paper because anybody can edit it. And then after going to Wikipedia, I always go to Galileo and Google Scholar to find credible sources and to narrow down, get about 10 to 15 uh, websites or books to start my research, and then I narrow it down from there. Because with both of them, you can, with Google Scholar, I like better, I can narrow down to .org sites or credible sources without having to waste my time. One of the great things about uh, Galileo, it'll bring up a uh, if it has a lot of information, it'll give you a brief definition of what your subject is, like the data occurred, and then a description of it. Like with me, the Gulf War was from January 17th to February 28th, 1991, and it was last uh, revised on May the 15th. I mean, sorry, May 2015. I'll start taking notes on uh, the brief hit history of it, like dates that occurred, 
uh, from February. On August 2nd, the uh, Iraq launched the full scale attack on Kuwait, whereupon the U.S. asked Iraq to withdraw, but Iraq refused, and then the U.S. declared war to drive them out of Kuwait and the oil f to protect their interest in the oil fields. And the source for this information is the Gulf War of the 90s in America, Salem Press, 2009. I will keep this, uh, copy and paste the link where I can come back to it at a later time. And uh, I will keep it in a Word document on my computer and in uh, back it up to my iCloud drive. That way if I lose my computer's work, yeah, I won't lose my, all my paper. Now start looking for more uh, resources and getting a be better idea to narrow down if I want to focus on like veterans. I mean, uh, what part of the war I want to get on, like the aftermath or the during. This is this new source is from the New World Encyclopedia, 2015 edition. This goes on the the background about when Saddam Hussein took over Iraq in the as the president in 1979, all the way. Okay, sorry about that. To the first war in 1991, uh, the counter plan when um, 
Saddam Hussein lit all the, when he was withdrawing and lit all the oil fields on fire to the second war in 2003 and then the aftermath <laughs> I'm going to copy and paste this link for a later time this way I can come back to it and uh, use citation machine to help me cite it in MLA format The U.S. sent over 150,000 troops to the Persian Gulf in 2003 under President Bush. And ended May 1st of that year in 2003. The losses in um, 2003 were 138 dead and 452 wounded. But for the total Gulf War, there was 13,000 wounded and se uh, uh, close to 1,700 U.S. service members killed. In the first war of 1991, it wasn't just the U.S., it was Saudi Arabia, Great Britain, Egypt, Syria, and France all cl uh, grouped together against the Iraqi army estimated at f over 540,000 soldiers. This is a uh, from the American Journal. No, sorry. The American Journal about the Gulf War illness.
This is an online art article.